The idea of a communication satellite was first introduced in Wireless World magazine in 1945 by Arthur C. Clarke, author of 2001, A Space Odyssey. In that article, he explained that if a satellite is placed in orbit over the equator at an altitude of 22,236 miles, it will take exactly 24 hours to go around the Earth, and therefore will stay in the same position relative to the ground. This magic orbit is called geosynchronous or geostationary. Five, four, three, two, one. Main engine ignition and liftoff. Microspace uses the SES World Sky Satellite AMC-1, which was launched aboard an Atlas rocket in 1996. AMC-1 is in the orbital slot at 103 degrees west, a position that allows it to cover the entire continental United States. Large uplink antennas at microspace transmit signals to the satellite. Then a transponder aboard the satellite receives the signals and retransmits them back to Earth on a different frequency. Because radio frequencies need to be used as efficiently as possible, the satellite is built to transmit two different signals at the same time on the same frequency. This is done by polarizing the radio transmissions. Usually one signal is transmitted vertically and the other horizontally. Remember vertical refers to the satellite. Because of the curvature of the Earth, the orientation of your antenna will only be vertical if your location on the ground is directly beneath the satellite. This variation from true vertical is called skew. If you could see the satellite, it might look like this. Your antenna is like a telescope looking at the satellite. To properly aim the dish, you need to make three adjustments. The first is azimuth, the left to right alignment. If the azimuth setting is wrong, the signal strength will drop. The second adjustment is called elevation, the up and down movement. Once a signal is received from the satellite, azimuth and elevation are adjusted for maximum signal strength. This is called peaking the dish. The third adjustment is the antenna's polarization, sometimes called polarity. You can think of polarization as a slot in your telescope. If polarization is wrong, the desired signal strength will drop as you begin to receive interference from the horizontally polarized signal. The AMC-1 satellite is being replaced by a new one, SES-3, it was launched in July 2011 and is being moved into position at 103 degrees west. The new satellite will operate with higher power than AMC-1 and should provide stronger signals that are more reliable and less affected by weather. Unlike most other satellites, in AMC-1 the polarization of the antennas is offset by 26 degrees from the vertical, while the new satellite, SES-3, will not be offset. This 26 degree difference could be enough to cause reception problems when the new satellite is brought online. When you try to receive a vertically polarized signal with an antenna offset by 26 degrees, there will be both some loss of desired signal strength and an increase in interference from horizontally polarized signals. The solution is to change the polarization setting of the receiving antenna by 13 degrees or half of the 26 degree offset of the incoming signal. With a 13 degree offset, signal strength will be almost maximum for both old and new satellites. After making a compensating adjustment, the offset with the current satellite and the new one will be the same, so you will be assured of continued high quality service after the changeover. Here's a procedure for how to adjust the polarization. First, you'll need to loosen the mount for the feed horn. Don't remove the screws, just loosen them enough so the feed horn can be turned by applying gentle pressure. With your signal strength meter attached to the antenna, rotate the horn until the signal strength and quality are at maximum. Be sure you're locked to the correct satellite and transponder as indicated on the display. Next, using the scale, which is calibrated in degrees, rotate the feed horn 13 degrees counterclockwise as you look toward the dish. In this case, each mark is 10 degrees, 
so your rotation should be a bit more than one mark. It is very important to rotate counterclockwise as you look toward the dish. If you turn the feed horn in the wrong direction, you won't see much difference in signal now, but when the new satellite goes online, there will be a loss of signal strength, or even a total loss of service. That's because if you rotate the polarization in the wrong direction, it will be off by 39 degrees instead of 13 degrees. That's a big difference. Once you've finished your adjustment and confirmed that the signal is adequate, be sure to tighten down the feed horn, being careful that the polarization setting doesn't change. Now you'll be ready for years of solid service.